It is the way the war would have been seen and heard a hundred years ago. Not in monochrome, but in colour and with sound. <laughs> Faces crystal clear, life on the front made immediate. The experiences of an infantry man in the Great War are shown in breathtaking detail. Old and damaged film has been immaculately restored, no longer juddery, but slowed down to a normal speed. You didn't care how the war was going. Colour has been painstakingly added and commentary from veterans recorded decades ago tell the story. As the creator of fantasy film epics The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, Oscar-winning film director Peter Jackson had all the latest technical know-how at his disposal. I was really intrigued by how much, how, what, if we threw all this computer firepower at essentially the job of restoring old film, where we could actually go with it. I've seen restored film and you know, it's okay, but I just thought, you know, let's go to the utmost degree with all the technology we have. Um, and see how far we can go with it. And I was, um, I was blown away by how far, by, by what it actually the results. I mean, I just, it took me by, hugely by surprise. All they were concerned with was that we were fit to fight. The director's grandfather and great uncle served in the war. For him, restoring the footage from the Imperial War Museum was a labor of love, a way to focus on the individuals who laughed, lived, and too often died together. We're trying to make a film that is about the human experience of the war and with all this, you know, all the voiceover being from all the veterans. So black and white just wouldn't, you know, they didn't see it in black and white. So therefore, I mean, I mean it's got to be colour. There, no, there was no choice in the matter. So every reel of film that we restore, I'm just amazed and stunned and feel sort of privileged at seeing it. The film will be screened at cinemas next Tuesday and then sent to every secondary school in the UK. Nina Nanar, ITV News.